Okay, let's start. Good morning, chairperson, lady and gentlemen. Um, Latika Naked. Uh, today I would like to present my research in the title that effect of backpack design on posture, heart rate, and discomfort in female young adults, a pilot study. Let's start for introduction. Several research, research show that students and adolescents carry heavy backpacks. The adverse effect of daily carriage of a backpack uh, include neck pain, shoulder pain, spinal pain, and low back pain. When carrying a heavy backpack, there are several changes in the body due to loading. These are changes in oxygen uptake and energy expenditure, uh, cardiopulmonary parameter, trunk and head posture. Besides reducing the load of carrying the backpack, the design of backpack was also concerned. There are three basic designs of backpack as external frame, internal frame, and frameless backpack. An internal frame backpack was designed in order to help the user feel better comfortable when carrying for a long distance or periods of time in a comparison of external and internal frame backpacks. Uh, in for Kurt and Schneider found no significant difference for any metabolic cardiorespiratory or perceptual variable, variable whereas Johnson and Collish reported rating of perceived exertion was significantly different in favor of internal frame backpacks. So we were interested in the use of the internal frame backpack and frameless backpacks since they were popular among and they were popular use among university university students. However, there is a lack of systematic data regarding the local effects of the internal frame and frameless backpack carriage directly on the change of neck, trunk posture, heart rate, discomfort in university, university students. So the objective of this study were to determine the effect of design of backpack. This is internal frame and frameless backpack on uh, carrying a vertebral angle, trunk posture, heart rate, and body part discomfort in a group of female university students aged between 18 to 25 years old. The hypothesis of this study was that an internal frame backpack will make the user more comfortable and less in heart rate, increasing trunk forward lean, forward head than that of carrying the frameless backpack. Uh, I go to material and method uh, for the research design is a uh, was a uh, randomized control trial. The participant was 50 female university, uh, university students divided into two groups, 20 persons for frameless backpack group and 20 persons uh, for internal frame backpack group aged between 18 to 50, uh, 25 in this study, participants were healthy and they had experience in using a backpack. This is the design of backpack. First, the internal frame backpack was 43 times, uh, 33 times, 20, 25 centimeter with 0 0.6 kilo and uh, for frameless backpack dimension of 42 times 33 times 21 centimeter and with 0 0.3 kilo. Internal frame has uh, a part of soft frame inside the backpack. Let's start the procedure. At the beginning of 
a session, the participant weight was taken in order to confirm the accurate backpack loading as a percentage of body weight and were asked about the feeling of body part discomfort. They have placed the marker on the left side of the body at the following location at spinous process of so we call serene targets of ear, acromioclavicular joint, greater top center of femur, lateral knee joint, lateral malleolus. All participant has a chance to adjust the strap before the test start. This is our first uh, participant will take the baseline photograph and record heart rate discomfort. Then they loaded 20, uh, they loaded 15% of body weight backpack and taken second photo record heart rate and discomfort. After that, they walk for uh, 800 meters. Immediately uh, after walk, the second uh, the third photograph was taken, heart rate and discomfort was recorded. The digital photograph were analyzed to identify the cardiovertebral angle, trunk angle by using Kinovia version. This uh, cardiovertebral angle and trunk inclination angle were measured based on Jan Siri Nukha method. For statistically, analysis, mean and standard deviation of heart rate posture as so uh, cardiovertebral angle and trunk angle uh, this, and discomfort were calculated for each backpack design. Two-way repeated measure analysis of variance was used to test for the main effect of backpack design, post hoc design using bone for any correction. This is a result uh, table result for demographic data of participants. Uh, the data show that both of uh, groups have uh, no significant difference at the demographic feature at age, weight, head, uh, body weight, cardiovertebral angle trunk inclination angle, heart rate, and discomfort at the baseline data. For the result of cardiovertebral angle, there was a significant design effect on cardiovertebral angle. In frameless backpacker participants had a significant decrease on cardiovertebral angle when compare cardiovertebral angle and loading with initial load and with post walk, that means participants have increased forward head posture while carrying frameless backpack both of initial load and post walk. For trunk angle, there was no significant design effect of the trunk angle. However, both groups of participants had adopted trunk lean forward posture over time. For heart rate data, there was no significant effect the backpack design on heart rate and initial loading time. The heart rate was significantly affected by the backpack design. The results show that after walking with the internal frame backpack, the heart rate was increased compared to that of the frameless backpack group. For uh, the last result, discomfort, there was not significant effect of backpack design on discomfort at the initial loading time. The discomfort rating increased in all area of body, uh, body part after post-war condition. The frameless group had higher discomfort than that of initial frame group in neck, left shoulder, upper back. There was a significant design effect of, on the neck area, left shoulder, and upper back area. For, uh, we come to the, this question. 
an increase of cardiovascular angle was indicated a more forward head posture while carrying a backpack. The closer the point at the shoulder and cardiovascular uh, and cervical segment are the bigger the sagittal shoulder angle is. Therefore, the more anterior head position observed that in most subjects in this study when carrying a frameless backpack may contribute to an enlarged sagittal shoulder angle. So further study to using a 3D dimensional approach is required to identify the relationship between bony landmarks. This study found the backpack design does not cause a significant different effect on trunk posture. The forward inclination of the trunk with increasing backpack load is therefore presumably to maintain the position of combined center of gravity above the base of support. The, the increasing forward inclination of the trunk in space as load increase appear to be due mainly to fraction of the trunk relative to the pelvis, which accounted for 4.6 degree to 5.8 degree total increase in trunk fraction seen at 15% uh, body weight backpack load. The present study found significantly different increased heart rate of the, the internal frame backpack compared to the frameless backpack. There was no prior study found about the, uh, the, the effect of backpack design on heart rate and information that analysis of the heart rate did not provide. Only study by Ramadan and Altea in uh, 2019 have noticed that backpack that's carrying load on the back at 50% of load and on designs for 25% 20, uh, of load on each side, which almost like an internal frame backpack had increase in heart rate when students carrying with 15% uh, body weight offload. This might be due to the design backpacks since an internal frame backpack has thick shoulder straps than a frameless backpack, thus the shoulder strap may cause the tightening of chest wall and may the participant breathe difficultly. The difficulty of breathing indicated the body for more oxygen uptake, which result in increase in the work of breathing and heart rate. There was an increase in discomfort in five body region. Our study showed the same result of Sharon and college reported that the pressure of backpack was leading to discomfort on underlying soft tissue due to but occlusion, so the participant had more discomfort at both shoulders, upper and lower back. In this study, the participant reported a significant higher neck discomfort in frameless uh, group compared to the internal frame group. This result was coincident with the study of Simon and College, which found the participant with a load carriage backpack and decrease in cranial vertebral angle will lead to neck discomfort. The limitation of this study is uh, we not control physical activity of participants. So participants who have more physical activity can adapt uh, the body to have exercise stimulus and control heart rate better than participants who have low physical activity. In the conclusion, the analysis of posture, heart rate, and discomfort scores show significant change in the discomfort of the neck, shoulder, and upper back area in the frameless backpack, therefore confirming the hypothesis 
that is an internal frame backpack has more comfortable than a frameless backpack. But contrasting the hypothesis about heart rate, this is found an in internal frame backpack had significantly increased heart rate more than a frameless backpack. For the clinical application of this study was to advise the young adult to choose a suitable backpack for daily activity. Thank you for your attention. Okay, it's time to questions. So we have about uh, several minutes for questions. Huh? Let's start. Okay, um, let's start from me. Uh, can I ask about when you test the student to carry on the backpack they 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 they, they did the barefoot or you you let them to wear the the, the, the shoes or something uh let them choose or or the participant yes. wear the shoes wore the shoes right yes and is the same kind of shoes or it's different different kind of shoes do you have any note or something about uh, it? Sport shoes. Sport shoes. And is for example sport shoes. Or all of them wear the sport shoes. Oh, I did not control the shoe, but most mostly it's sports shoe. Okay. Uh, I suggest to to note or record it about the shoes when you do the procedure because it's effect. Is the linkage about the lower limb to the, the back or the neck as well. And the last question is, um, what, what, um, what type of back will you suggest to my niece that she study in the uh, second year university? That what type of back have to yep. uh, uh, yep. from this study? Uh, the, uh, internal frame backpack is the best choice for university students uh, because it's confirmed for the less discomfort uh -huh, and uh, better better cranial vertebral angle and trunk inclination angle. Yes, but uh, 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 parties are uh, student should. Remind that do not uh, use the backpack, the weight of backpack more than fifth, uh, fifteen percent of body weight. Okay, this is a suggestion for the university student, and yes. yeah, this is the problem that we don't know how to control how weight that they will con uh, carry on. Okay. <laughs> and yeah, thank you for your uh, presentation. Thank you. Yes, thank you for your presentations and uh, the phone for questions. Uh, so if there is no questions, so shall we move to another presenters? Thank you for our presenter, Kun Natika. All right. So the next presenter.